sentence arrangement or parajumble topic. Order the sentences to form a current paragraph. So we have to arrange the given sentences to get a meaningful order, right? If you observe the given question, it has four sentences where we have to arrange them according to the meaningful order. And you have four options from which we have to pick one. So everybody just read this and try to answer on your own and check out with the video. I hope you did. Now coming to this question again. So as we have discussed multiple times regarding parajumbles in our previous videos, if you go through them, you'll get to know there are certain strategies. One such strategy we have is links. So finding links between the sentences or among the sentences. So here also we have a link. What is it link? So first of all, I can eliminate two options. What are the two options? Can the paragraph can start with add to that a cloudness night? Add to what? Can I can ask no add to that means add to what? Was it explained previously before any B? No, I have no such statement before B that could be over in the option A and C. So that says option A and C are not possible. Right, because I cannot say add to that, right? Add to what? It was not mentioned earlier, right? So in between option B and D, what could be the perfect answer that could be possible? If you observe the very first statement in both the options is the night sky has to be moderately dark for the stars to show up. Well. And we have B and D next to it, right? So tell me everybody after A, what could be the possibly link that A has? If you observe statement B fits well, add to that, add to what? adding to the moderately dark for stars to show up well so a cloudless night because whenever there were no clouds in the sky that would be more perfect a group of campus and several telescopes and what do you have so what do you have everybody definitely are going to have a star party of course right so that says a b is definitely linked and b d is for sure linked. so combining both i have a link of a b d and the last statement must be so star parties right so because already we have mentioned the star party, so star parties takes place at national camps, state campgrounds and observatories away from city light. So that says C must be like a conclusion. So that's what my option should be B. I hope everybody understood this question called the strategy of links. Right, everybody? Now moving on to the next one. So if you observe this question, this is a question from the topic called sentence completion. Some of you will call this is a fill in the blanks. We have sentences to be used in the given blanks, right? Everybody now try to read the question and then answer the question accordingly. And after once you are done, just check out with the video. I hope you did as you have already read the paragraph, right? I would like to tell you one good point over here. So here I would like to directly start with blank one. Now with the blank one, there is a connection in the next part. What is the next part? Motivation can also be intrinsic. When they said motivation can also be earlier, it should say what motivation can be. Look, I can say one thing. No, I can be good. Also, I can be bad. Right. So both the things. So before telling what actually motivation can also be, there should be something which talks about motivation can be what now in that case, what is that statement among ABC is telling me what motivation can be. exactly see motivation might be extensive. So given motivation might be extrinsic, whereby a person is inspired by outside forces and so on. And given motivation can also be intrinsic. So that says definitely C must be in the blank one. And with C, we have two options. What are they? Option B and option D. Right, everybody? So I can eliminate option A and option C. Now in between option B and option D, what could be the best option that is possible? If you observe here, already point C, motivation might be extrinsic. And they have discussed about motivation, whereby a person is inspired by outside forces, other people or events that transfer. And similarly, here we have to discuss about intrinsic motivation also. It is a desire to improve a certain activity. Now they said at a certain activity, and then they said intrinsic motivation tends to push people more forcefully. So they are giving more information about intrinsic. So that is definitely B must be there. And if you observe A is like a conclusion overall, everyone feels motivated or demotivated of willpower at times. So it cannot be immediately after this statement, but it can be at the end, right? So that says B must be the extension of that previous statement. So that says option B must be the right option. Only. Right, everybody? Now moving on to the next. So if you observe this question, this question is from the topic called flows passage are generally also called as fill in the blanks. 
but generally with just words or phrases but in the last question if you observe that is with the sentences but here these are filled with the words or the phrases so now try to answer on your own and then check out the video i hope you did now i would be just reading a bit ahead of the this statement okay we are all seeing a glimpse of several relatively new technology developments including the smartphone revolution the emerging internet of things social media cloud computing and big data analytics all dash contribute all what look all refers to these things first second third fourth and fifth and guys you know what is the best strategy that we can use for sentence completion that to with words or phrases exactly that's nothing but a proactive solving right people so practice solving gives you a guess where you can just fit some words into the blanks on your own now all dash contribute so all the before mentioned technologies so all the technologies i can say because these are like technologies or the technological developments i can say that so all the technological developments are all of them or all these contribute to an dash right so i can say all the technologies or all of them such words right now if you want to go with the options now let me just quickly give you the option so that you can fill a blank with the given options now the first blank says of those of these of which in two words now everybody tell me which is the correct option can i say all of those look all of those is also talking about these points only but look as they have mentioned very much earlier i can say all of these is much better than all of those because all of these talks about the recently mentioned technologies before this statement just before this statement right now all of which contribute to an uh, dash now all of which is not sounding better so all of these is sounding better among the four given options right so that says b must be the answer for this blank now coming to the next all of these contribute to an dash connected now there is a hint again and is used before what sounds everybody exactly vowel sounds so i can quickly eliminate the consonant sound words right so if you go with proactive and all you might not get such sounds because you have to go with two things one is dash connected and also with a vowel sound so let us try to go with the options without much delay right now if you observe the options you can eliminate one option for sure largely you can eliminate because largely is not a vowel sound right so among option a b c what could be the best one can i say all of these contribute on abruptly connected world of devices or entirely or abnormally what is the correct option you just let me so if you are well known of the meanings it would be more easier right now abruptly talks about what so abruptly means what abruptly means suddenly so can i say connected uh, like contribute to an con suddenly connected worlds no it is not suddenly such a word which can fit in the blank now i can say entirely connected world of devices because all of these contribute to an entirely connected world right it talks about the whole world so that means option b is better as of a and b now let us check option c also abnormally abnormally means what not normally or not usually so can i say contribute to an abnormally connected world of devices no it should be a positive term if i'm not wrong so that says only entirely fits in the blank so that says again option b must be the answer for blank b now going with the third one connected world of devices emitting large dash that can be processed now what can be processed everybody information can be processed right emitting large information or emitting what that can be processed now basically information or data can be processed right so let us look at the options so if you look at the options exactly whatever we guessed is absolutely fine so that says emitting large data that can be processed in near real time to make more intelligent decisions right everybody so that says b b a are the options that you have to select for this question right now moving on to the next so this question if you observe this is like a question from the topic of formal or informal language now as of you know formal language is basically used when it comes to professional purposes right everybody workplace or college etc etc now informal basically will be used among friends and families if i'm not wrong it would be more like non professional right everybody now in that case among the given options what is the one you have to choose which of the following sentences does not use a formal language so that means 
given out of given four three will be what exactly three will be formal and one would be informal so you have to select that one informal sentence out of the given four so just read out the sentences and tell me what is that informal and then check with the video if you observe in short time we will serve refreshments now basically in formal mostly we don't use the pronouns like we me right so this i can consider i'm just not totally saying i'm just considering this as a informal one right it can be considered now others could be more informal so i'm just going with the other options now welcome about to operate your seat belt insert the metal belt into the buckle and pull tight now this is like a professional announcement by some airlines right if i'm not wrong so this could be a more professional one if i'm not wrong so professional so formal this is now going with the option c this is the final boarding call for passengers neha mohit and saini booked on flight 327a to kana city please proceed to gate 3 immediately again so this is like a official announcement done by one of the airline guidelines right so that says again c is a formal one now thank you for flying with us today so this is a again one more such statement which is given by one of the airlines we have so that says definitely option a must be the only informal language we have because this can be used when we have uh, friends or families right it can also be used in official or office purpose like when you have a party at office we'll say like in short time we'll serve refreshments but it's more like informal because as i told we me you i mostly will not be used in formal mostly right so that says a is the most informal language out of all the four we have right everybody now moving on to the next yeah finally we have a reading comprehension question and where you know the best thing to do if you observed our previous videos we already discussed what is the best strategy that could be possible to solve the reading comprehension questions that is nothing but hunter approach right now what is meaning of hunter approach so hunter approach is nothing but going with the questions first and then remembering the key terms that are there in the question and then hunting them in the passage that gives you more easier answers if you have more direct questions and if you have indirect questions definitely you need to analyze understand the passage and answer right but when you have more direct hunter approach would be the best one to give you more answers in a less time right everybody now before further do let's just go with the questions first and then come back to the passage going with the question so first things first which of the following is a by product of reading silently fine this could be again a direct question for sure but i have to just analyze the data given in the passage and say what could be a by product of reading silently right everybody so that i will identify so this i'll note and search for the things so having poor recall uh having a prodigious intellect developing verbal ability having conflicts with the people so let us see what could be the by product of reading sir now moving on to the next which of the following statements is true fine this could be again a direct but then i have to remember four such terms what are four such terms option a b c d to check whether one of these were mentioned true or not right everybody so definitely that should be mentioned because there is no such option like none of the above so one must be definitely given in the passage so remembering the terms like establishing a better relation scramble signals difficult text and not as good as reading silently so these are the four terms i should remember and see whether which one is mentioned now so just showing you the passage go through the passage for one or two minutes or some time and then try to tell me the two answers the first one being the by product of silent reading right the second one uh, being one of the four we have remembered now you tell me what are they now i hope you are done if you observe the very first question by product of silent reading so here if you observe there is a person i'm calling him shortly call call a psychologist at the university of waterloo in canada has made extensive research on the impact of reading loud on a memory he and his collaboration have shown that people consistently remember more words and text better if they read them aloud than if they read them silently so here there are advantages of reading aloud than reading silently what are they the two advantages are remembering more words and text better right everybody now i can say if these are the by products of reading aloud what are the by products of reading aloud not remembering the words for much time and not able to text better right everybody so that i can say now 
So in the other paragraph, there is no such byproduct which is mentioned of silent reading, right? If you observe. Now going with the next. So such one what we have. So the one which is there, he's having a poor recall that we're having poor memory. Why? Because look, having a great memory comes with what? With a loud reading. So with loud reading, I can have good memory power, good memory power, good recall. But the byproduct of reading silently is having a poor recall. So that is definitely this must be the option. Now, intellect is not mentioned. Developing verbal ability, not mentioned, and having conflicts with the people is also not mentioned. So that says option A must be the answer for this question. Right, everybody? Look how easily we have answered such question with the 100 approach. Right? Now, moving on to the next. Again, out of these four, what is given? This is directly given if I'm not wrong. What is that? If you observe over here, right, the ancient art of reading aloud has a number of benefits for adults from helping improve our memories and understand complex text to strengthening emotional bonds between people, right? When we understand complex tests, that helps us to build emotional bonds between people, right? So this is a direct statement that is given in the options. What is that? So reading aloud makes one establish better relation with the people, right? That must be option A. Now, if you observe, scramble signals is not mentioned. If you feel makes it difficult to understand difficult text, look, it makes easier to understand difficult text actually. Right. So that is the opposite given to the passage, actually. So that says it is not the correct option. Reading aloud is not as good as reading silently. Now, all over the passage, it says reading aloud is much better than reading silently. So how could I say this is true? So this is again a false. So that says again, option A must be the answer for this question. Right, everybody? Now, only two questions we have. So moving on to the next type of question. So here, so coming to this question, this is a question from error detection. Most of you will feel this is like a sentence correction. This is not a sentence correction, dear. We have to identify the sentence. Look, one part of the sentence below may contain error. Identify that part. So this is an identification of the error. So that's called error detection topic. I'll tell you what is sentence correction also, right? That is also there. Now, if there is no error, choose no error, right? Now, the given sentence is there is no doubt that this is the most difficult but disrupting year that many of us will ever have experienced. Now, everybody, if no error, select option B. If any error, tell me which part has an error. I hope you did. Now, coming to the question, there is no doubt. First of all, tense, coming to the tense, here there is no doubt that this is the most, so present tense only, that many of us will have ever experienced, right? Look, as they are saying this is the most difficult that you have ever experienced. So there is no error in part of tense, right? So when it comes to tense, is correct. So first part has no error. Now, second part, what is no doubt that this is the most difficult but disrupting here. Everybody, if you observe, there is a signpost called but. Now I have discussed many times regarding the signpost. So signpost called but is actually a negative signpost, right, everybody? Because look, he's feeling good. Is feeling good, but he dash attends. He does attends or he does not attends. Now you tell me everybody what is the right answer. He does attend the meeting or he does not attend the meeting. Everybody, you tell me. Absolutely. Now, as though he's feeling good, but because he here the context of the meaning changes. Previously, it's a positive thing he has. And next, as we have used a negative signpost called but. So here, the context of the meaning changes. So what is the meaning? It should be a negative. So it doesn't, but he doesn't attend the meeting. Right, everybody? So that says negative must come. Similarly, over here, most difficult is like a negative. But here, disrupting, it's a negative word. Now, how can I have both negative terms? Look, I cannot change the word because most difficult, but given. So here, I cannot change the word we have. Both should be same only because you are, you have seen the first. So that says most difficult and also disrupting here. So here we have to change the signpost, right? So it can be end or end also, etc. But overall, there is in second part. Second part is in which option? Option A. So that says option A must be the answer. That many of us will ever have experienced. So in the past, we did not experience this year bad things, right? Everybody. So that says option A must be the answer. So this is the error detection I did.
now coming to the last question of the video so this is like a sentence improvement sentence improvement or sentence correction so where we have to correct the sentence or improve the sentence right everybody now so coming to this question so in the given question a part of the sentence is underlined below are the alternatives to the underlined part which may improve the sentence choose the correct so correcting the sentence or improving the sentence in case no improvement is needed choose no improvement now let us go with the question princess diana is the most beautiful lady in england and presumably in the entire world now the word is like assumption so assumption in the and assuming in the entire world right so the underlying part here is the most beautiful so is there any error that we should improve that should be the very beautiful or more beautiful or beautiful or improvement look here what is happening actually comparison is happening right everybody comparison now we have three degree form of comparison the general degree of comparison the comparative degree of comparison and the superlative degree of comparison for example good better best now when i can say good when i'm talking about only one person or one thing for example he is good now can i say he is better no i can say he is better when he is better than him he is better than him when i'm comparing between two people i can use the comparative degree so comparative is generally used between two people between two entities as here talking about the people so i'm talking about two people and general is discussed for one person so for one person and the third one superlative among many i can use only superlative and i'm talking about more than two people among many that says more than two people it should be right for example he is the best in the class he is the best in the class because in the class there would be more than two people in general right in the class or he is the best among the five people we have so that i can say now here actually the comparison is happening between how many people princess diana is getting compared with the ladies in england as well as in the entire europe so that says definitely we must compare with the superlative degree and that says the most beautiful is the right one look beautiful is just for one person that i can say princess diana is beautiful that's it right princess diana is more beautiful when compared only between two persons but here there are many people getting compared so lady in england as well as in the entire europe because she is com getting compared with many such ladies right everybody and the very beautiful is not a right term i cannot say the before a so comparative i should use only the before a superlative degree the best he is the best right i cannot use before comparative so that says definitely there is no error in the sentence or no improvement needed so that says option d must be the answer right everybody i hope you understood this question now very clear man so that's all for the video everybody so in this video we have covered almost seven types of questions from each topic that are mentioned in this year tcs nqt global syllabus thank you for watching the video till the end if you have liked the content don't forget to press the like button also join our social media handles like telegram group instagram page and whatsapp group links to all these handles are given in the description thank you guys